Wake up, chump. Sit down, chump. Get over here, punk. Oh. Oh. Boom! Oh! Oh no, it just got real. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Seven Days to Die. We are on vanilla. You guys love vanilla. Can I can I do vanilla hype train? Or is that gonna annoy people? I don't know. But we're on vanilla. You guys may ask for vanilla, we're doing some more vanilla. Anyway, we are in the Dijon building. Um, I've been a little bit let down with the with the loot so far in here, but we're gonna keep going. Um, I expect to find some better Oh boy, I expect to find some better stuff in here. I'm thinking that might be a drop to... What, what was it? Die bitch or just something bitch? I don't know. <laughs> we got to be careful in here. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to... we're gonna. I don't know if we're going to finish up the Zhang, but we're definitely going to work on the Zhang. Anyway, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Now, we are going to talk about the gyrocopter today. Okay, we're gonna talk about Mad Mole's most recent video in which in which he showed off the gyrocopter, and I've got a, I've got a kind of unique take on it. Um, I think anyway. Um, some people love it. Some people. Wait, is this really not the uh, area that falls out? Yeah, it is. Right. Hold on. Yeah, I thought so. You're gonna fool me. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Nice try. Die, bitch, my ass. All right, I've already cursed twice, and we're not—we're only about a minute in. Anyway, yeah, gyrocopter. Okay, we're gonna talk about that today. Um, and you know what? I guess this is about as good a time as any. Let's talk about the gyrocopter. Okay, um, I am uh, like up in the air about the gyrocopter. I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, not to like, you know, not to play the middle card, but I, I am. I'm kind of in the middle about it. Um, I kind of think the gyrocopter has the cool factor. But I don't really think it's gonna be all that useful. Um, I'm looking at this from, from from two different standpoints. Number one, the cool factor. Number two, uh, practicality. You know, what are we gonna use it for? How is it gonna change gameplay factor? All right. And from the you know, how is it gonna change gameplay factor? Eh, I don't think it's gonna really matter that much. To be perfectly honest. Um, maybe I'm you know, maybe I'll be proved wrong. Who knows? Wouldn't be the first time. Sure, it won't be the last. But. The way I see it, all right, the gyrocopter is going to be used for speed, okay? It's going to be used for traveling with speed, right? By the way, I feel like I'm doing some hardcore parkour here. Um, so the gyrocopter is going to be used for speed. But here's the thing, guys. Um, yeah, die, bitch. That's what, that's what it was. Damn it, that's the third B word. All right, no more B words, guys. No more B words. Die, buddy. <laughs> anyway, so the gyrocopter is going to be for fast travel. It's going to be. It's going to let you get around quickly. Now here's the thing. I now, little little side note here, guys. I'm not familiar with gyrocopters in reality. Okay, when I see a gyrocopter and I see helicopter blades, I think of a helicopter. Okay, I figure it goes up and down and then kind of move forward, right? But the way Mad Mole was driving was flying it around in his most recent video. By the way, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Mad Mole is um, one of the owners of the Fun Pimps. And oh my goodness. And um, I need to make a drop-off chest. Anyway, yeah, one of one of the owners of the Fun Pimps, and he went ahead and he did he does these videos like showing off, you know, alphas that are coming up. And the new alpha that's coming up is gonna be Alpha 17, and he did a video on it, right? Um, so what we're gonna do really quickly here is we're gonna take this out and just hold that thought for a second. Remove waypoint, save waypoint, drop chest two. That means there's two drop chests in here. Okay, so Manmel did a video on it, um, and he showed off the gyrocopter, and I, I admittedly was pretty blown away. I thought the gyrocopter looked awesome, uh, but then after thinking about it, uh, you know what? I don't even want to do inventory management while talking. I'll be right back. By the way, guys, I need to keep a lookout for some food, man. I'm getting quite hungry. Anyway, gyrocopter. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so gyrocopter is going to be more for... Oh, yeah, like what I was saying about like gyrocopters. Like, is that the way gyrocopters work? Because uh, Madmo was flying around the gyrocopter like it was a plane. Like, he was using forward momentum and lift. Um, and it even looked like it had some wing-type things on it, or a propeller facing forward or something. I'm not really sure. So how does a gyrocopter work? You guys can let me know in the comments. Um, because I always thought a gyrocopter was more like a helicopter, but that's not the way they were flying it around. And you might be wondering what this has to do with anything. Well, it has to do with how you land the thing. Like, are we going to be able to land the gyrocopter? Like, oh, that was unlocked, wasn't it? Are we going to... Oh, look at this. Are we going to be able to land the gyrocopter in an open field? Like, do we need an open field or, like, some runway? Or can we land it like a helicopter? Um, is there anything up there? Hold on a sec. 
Nothing. So that that was one thing I was wondering because I thought it'd be pretty cool if like um, one of the problems that with the gy with the gyrocopter. And the gyrocopter is very very like uh, not ready. <laughs> it's very very um, uh, raw. You know what I mean? Like they just put it together. And honestly, and he even said this. He said it might not be an Alpha 17. I don't think the gyrocopter is gonna be Alpha 17. Um, but when he was showing the gyrocopter, you know, it looked like it was just flying forward, and it didn't really look like a helicopter. It looked more like um. Uh, more like a plane, at least the way it, ooh, I'm not looking at mines, and we, I didn't even see that mine there until last minute. Alright, I'm gonna have to be careful with mines. Alright, oh boy, there's a lot of mines over here. Alright, let's get this guy. Come on, set up some of those mines, bro. So anyway, what I was thinking about the gyrocopter was, I think that it's going to help us get around faster, but I think we already have the mini bike for that. Um, I don't think getting around faster is that big of a deal. I don't think it's going to help us get to anywhere we couldn't get to before. Although, who knows, maybe they'll make some more, maybe they'll make some new prefabs where you kind of need the gyrocopter. I don't know. Um, what you could do with the gyro, with the gyrocopter is you could fly up to the top of uh, some of these high rises we have in the game and work your way, like get all the... You know, the top floors. Like, I could land on the roof, and then I don't have to deal with all the stupid crap on the bottom floors where there's no good loot. Although, I gotta be honest, most of, most of these um, high-rises do have pretty good loot on all floors. I don't think I would go to just the top floor. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you could work your way from the top floor down. I don't know. I don't really think that's that useful, though. Um, yeah, I, I, re I really don't know. Like, I don't see what the... I don't see what the practical use would be. I don't like these pots, by the way. I'm thinking these pots are kind of suspect. I don't think I'm going to touch them. So I'm thinking that, you know, the gyrocopter is really not going to help us get anywhere we couldn't normally get anyway. Um, so it's all about speed. And we already have the mini bike for speed. So, I mean, I mean the gyrocopter is going to be fine. I mean, I don't, you know, getting somewhere quicker is always nice. But I'm not like, you know, I, I, I think where the gyrocopter really shines is the cool factor. And the cool factor, the gyrocopter is, is, is awesome okay i'm so excited for the gyrocopter just because i think it's gonna be so cool um i really do i think it's gonna be awesome one thing i would like to see them change about the gyrocopter this is, this is probably my biggest critique with the gyrocopter as of right now is i wish they would make it so the so the blades didn't clip through trees and they probably will but you never know um i i would like to i would like the blades to clip through trees like if you try and take off with a tree in the area it'll like break your blades or something like, you know, I think you should have to take off in a somewhat open area. I think that would be really cool. Um, because, you know, it just, yeah, it looked really weird with the uh, the blades clipping into the trees. And you could just kind of take off in the middle of a forest. That doesn't make much sense to me. Um, speaking of dealing with stuff in forests, uh, you guys, when I, when I talked about the Jeep a few episodes back... A lot of you guys are saying, like, well, Cage, of course it's not going to be stopped off-road because it's for off-road. Jeeps are made for off-road. And that's a great point. And I'll be honest, I didn't really think about that. Um, so, yeah, Jeeps are made for off-road. So the fact that a Jeep would get stuck and be a problem off-road, you know, isn't really, doesn't make much sense. But here's the thing. Um, I still think a Jeep would take, would take a significant amount of damage off-road if you use it a lot. Um, flat tires, stuff like that. I mean, you're driving, like, through the woods, you know? Um, even if the Jeep is tough, and Jeeps aren't tough, they're still gonna, you still gonna have some problems with them sometimes. Um, like, I don't know where you guys live, and I, I know that Nav's game is, is taking place, like, in Arizona or New Mexico or something like that. I'm not sure exactly where. But it's taking place, it's taking place in, um, the, the, the southwest of the country. And I don't know what it's like out there, but Nav's game kind of... Kind of is supposed to be taking place in that area. But I think random gen isn't really supposed to be specific to any one area in the country. And the reason I'm saying that is because where I live in New Jersey, even if you have a Jeep, you're still not driving it through. Um, you're not driving it through the woods like that. There's no way. We have we have, we have these things in New Jersey. I, I, you know, I live in the woods. I grew up in the woods, basically. Um, and we have these things in New Jersey, like these fire trails, right? Hold on a sec. Okay, where's that airdrop? Do I really care about airdrops anymore? You know, I don't think I do. I'm gonna mark it anyway. Okay, airdrop. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm trying to deal with an airdrop here. Get up, get off my building, bro. Man, I just messed him up. You see that? I threw that football player punk, punk ass right off my freaking building. That's the way I roll. What a dick. I'm trying to freaking work here, man. Okay, airdrop. There we go. 
Okay, looking good. Anyway, where I grew, where I grew up, you know, in New Jersey. Really? Get out of here, you freaking piece of crap zombie! Give me some food. I think I'm actually gonna eat the. I think I'm gonna actually eat some some sham sandwiches. By the way, come on out. I got something for you. Blow your head up. You're lucky you got a helmet on. Anybody else in here want a piece? You want a piece? Get up, chump. Yeah, what up? What up? You know, I totally forgot. Uh, I was warned that as I go up in this place, the zombies will get tougher and tougher. So I probably shouldn't be so, you know, nonchalant. <laughs> but, you know, I am what I am. Oh, wow. That is a nice wrench right there, my friends. Uh, scrap, 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 scrap. All right. Yeah, so where I grew up in New Jersey, um, you know, we're in the woods. And, like, basically the way... Oh, that's my chest. <laughs> I was like, look at that chest down there. That's kind of weird. I put a chest down in this area. Uh, so we got to go up. So that's not the way to go up. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, let me see if I can find a way to go up. Anyway, like I said, where I grew up, uh, they, they had, like... It's it's really hard to get around in the woods. So what they did was they made these, like, these these trails in the woods. And basically the trails in the woods, they're called fire trails. They're, they're It's like if there's a... If there's a forest fire deep in the woods, it's a way for the uh, fire department to get to get in there. And, um, oh, there's some... No. How do I get up? Uh, so you'd be able to drive your Jeep around that kind of area. Like where the, where those fire trails are. But you're not driving your Jeep. You're, you can't drive... You need a tank to get through the woods where I live. So, you know. But anyway, I'm okay with the Jeep being able to drive around. I just think it should take some damage. And maybe you should have a chance of getting a flat tire every once in a while. Because I don't know about you guys. But every time, like, I get a tire, I get one tire and then I'm good to go forever. Right? That's kind of... That's kind of lame, right? Oh, am I supposed to climb up here? Yeah, there's a big light up here. I'm probably supposed to climb up here. Okay. Yep, yep, that's where I'm supposed to go. Uh, so yeah, like, but like, think about it. Like, you, you, um, you get one tire in this game and you're, you're set for life. Like, you know, you should get flat tires sometimes. And if you're, and if a tire goes flat, you should lose the tire. And then you have to have another one or maybe bring some, bring some extras with you. I mean, like, so, hey, Jeeps have spare tires on the back for a reason, you know? Um, so I think that'd be pretty cool. So, I just want more reasons to use the road, that's all. I get that the Jeep's an off-road vehicle, and I, I'm perfectly, perfectly uh, fine admitting that I did not think about that, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, we, we, gotta, eat, we gotta eat something here, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap that, scrap that. All right, we're gonna eat these sham sandwiches. It's gonna kill my, uh, my stamina, unfortunately, but it's better than going hungry. It's gonna give me some kind of food poisoning buff or something. I'm just gonna eat all of them. There we go, and that sh it shouldn't last long. I had to do this in starvation mod. Food poisoning. Yeah, one minute. Look at that. It's gonna hurt my stamina, but that's it. So we'll just keep going through here because I don't give a I don't give a rat's you know what about my stamina. Should I shoot that? It'd be pretty cool if I did. Nah. Let's not be stupid. Okay. No. Oh. No. Oh. We're taking some. Uh, we're taking some wellness hits here, but 156 wellness, I'm okay with that. I am perfectly fine with that. Hello. Hey, now. Hey, now. Oh, I, sh I forgot I got no stamina. I'm like, wait, he didn't get... He didn't fall back and get stunned. Well, Cage, you got zero stamina. Of course he didn't fall back and get stunned. Um, I should probably just pause the... Yeah, whatever. I'll use my gun in the meantime. What the hell with it. I'm not stopping. You don't stop KJ48. KJ48 stops you. I don't even know what that means, but... Sounded intimidating, didn't it? Sound intimidating, right? No? Didn't sound intimidating? You laughed at me, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I would have laughed at me too. Alright, so Alright, well. Are we almost done with this food poisoning or how are we doing with the food poisoning? You almost done with it or what? Get a lot of gas in here, which is nice. Wow, you lose a lot of wellness to food poisoning. I did not expect that. I mean, I knew I would have lost some wellness, but man, that's um, it's a few points there. Oh boy, how you like me, axe, bro? Oh god, I forgot. No stamina. There we go. There's your stamina, you punk ass. Okay, this would be a really cool place to come um, in War of the Walkers, because there's a uh, you need like um, in War of the Walkers, you got these class quests. And in order to do the class quests, you need uh. You need certain fragment papers, and one of the hard fragment papers to find is the 
other building ones, and they're really good to get off these uh, these uh, construction workers. So, be pretty cool to come here in uh, War of the Walkers. I'll have to keep a lookout for this high rise when I play War of the Walkers. Boom! Oh shoot! <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie. So you guys excited for the gyrocopter? Let me know, guys, because I've seen all kinds of I've seen some really uh, some real division here um, with the gyrocopter. Uh, a lot of people think it's the best thing since you know sliced bread, and a lot of people think it's going to ruin Seven Days to Die as we know it. Uh, if you want my official, I mean, I gave you a lot of a lot of um, points, but if you want my official feeling on the uh, gyrocopter, I think it's I think it looks like it's going to be fun, but I don't know if it's really going to matter that much. In, to be perfectly honest, uh, like I said, it's gonna help us. It's gonna help us move around faster. But the mini bike already does that, so you know, it's fine. And I was like, I was thinking at first, like I was like, eh, you know, the gyrocopter's cool, but it, is this really what I want the fun pimps to be working on? Right? Like, is this really what? I, is this like? I, I could think of five other things I'd rather the, the fun pimps work on. Um, what are those five things? Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, AI. Frame rate issues, although that might not they might not care about that in alpha, but still, I would like some frame rate issues dealt with. Um, AI is a big one. AI is a huge one. More quest, better quests. I don't. I honestly don't think any of the quests in the game are that good, like at all. I don't. I don't want to have to go shoot female zombies with a nail gun as part of a quest. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, just my own personal opinion. I just that's not what I want to do. Um, what else? What else could they improve? More more POIs would be nice. Some kind of class system would be nice. Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and as far as, like, what they are working on... I don't know. I, I think the gyrocopter is pretty low on the list, in my opinion. Because we already have, like... We're, we already have the we already have the mini bike. We're getting a motorcycle. We're getting a, we're getting a Jeep. We're getting a, um... Uh... A, a, a regular bicycle. I mean, how many, you know... How many things do we need? But, here's the thing, guys... I was thinking like that, and then I went on the forums, and I was reading some people talking about it, and the people on the forums actually said that the gyrocopter was actually par really almost like already in the game or something. Um, they already had the model. They had some of the physics. Like, they didn't put a lot of effort into it yet. Uh, now, the gyrocopter still has a lot of work to go, but it's not like it was, like, a really hard thing for them to do. So, if w through the lens of that knowledge, yeah, okay, I'm okay with it. You know, I trust the fun pimps, man. I mean, they've made, like... Pretty much my favorite game of all time. Um, my favorite game of all time changes over the years. At one point, it was Legend of Zelda. At another point, it was XCOM. At another point, it was the Legend of Zelda um, uh, Ocarina of Time. At one point, it was EverQuest. At one point, it was EverQuest 2. Changes all the time. And right now, it's Seven Days to Die. So, we'll see. It'll probably be my favorite game until Seven Days to Die 2. <laughs> get, it, get on it, fun pimps. Should I be going up there? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we probably should be going up there. Yeah, let's go check that out. Is this unlocked? No, nope, it's locked. Okay. All right. Really? For one case, this better be a secret stash. Ugh, an oven. Oh, an oven. Oh, it's got a munitions box. That would have been funny if I just complained about not like getting an oven and then I just walked out of the room. You guys, your heads would have exploded. I would have been able to hear it from here. Oh, that would have been hilarious. I probably should have done it. <laughs> I always think of the ways to troll you guys after it's too late, you know? I always told people that, like, if I, like, ever won the lottery or something, or if I didn't have to care about making money, I'm, I, I do care about making money on YouTube because I'm trying to, like, do this full time. Um, so, but if I didn't ever care, like, if I didn't have to pay bills, like, and I really didn't care, I would, like, do little troll videos, like, um, I always said that, like, I would play games like, uh, like, uh, RimWorld and do things wrong and then complain about it and just, like, I, I could drive people crazy. Oh, that'd be so fun. What is this? This is a weird room. I don't know. I don't feel right about this. Alright. Okay. Is there a way to get up there that I'm not seeing, or is this a trampoline? Hold on, let's see. Nope, not a trampoline. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Very nice. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right, let's come up through here and make sure all the zombies are dead, then we're going to go looting. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the gyrocopter in the comments. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. Um, Jax didn't like it. <laughs> um, I was kind of like, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of in between. Some people on the forums hated it, you know. 
I don't think it's going to matter that much either way. I don't think it's going to make it that much easier, that much harder. It depends on how easy it is to get. Now, I also thought I heard something, and I could be mistaken about this because I'm not 100%, but I could have swear I heard the fun pimps talking like they were going to make it so we don't find books anymore to make the to make the uh, the cars or something, or or maybe we'll just find them out in the world. And I, I think that would be cool. Um, I think, like, searching around and finding a broken down mini bike that you need to repair or something. Maybe you have to find the book, too. You know? I, I know. What am I doing? Now, now, here we go. Here we go with the grind. I'm never gonna see no, I'm never gonna see any of this stuff. Anyway. Oh, hello. Wake up, bro. Like, imagine, like, you, you know, you have to find the book, but you also have to, like, let's just take the mini bike for, for, I bet, yeah, let's take the Jeep. Or, I bet, yeah, let's take the, let's take the Raffle Copter. That's what I'm gonna start calling it. The Raffle Copter. My Raffle Copter goes, if you, if you get that reference, you are freaking awesome. Anyway, um, is there anything else? I, I don't really want to bring the switches home, but I guess I should. Uh, battery bank. I never use it. I'll scrap it? Eh. I should probably hold on to it. Maybe, maybe I'll mess around with it at some point. Um, so imagine this. Imagine you're out in the world and you find a you find a book how to like repair. It's not build. How to repair or how to maintain or something like that. Um, a gyrocopter or the raffle copter, right? So and like, but then you still have to find it out in the world, you know? Because like, you know, you finding a vehicle and repairing it is way more, way, way, way more uh, believable than you finding a book and being able to make a, a mini bike from scratch. You know what I mean? I'm okay with the way it is now, but I, hey man, if you could do it the other way, like where you gotta find it out in the world, hey, that'd be pretty cool too. You know, I got no problem with that. That'd be, actually, I'd prefer it, <laughs> you know? Um, so am I supposed to be breaking all these rooms or am I supposed to be getting in another way? I don't think I'm supposed to be getting in another way because I don't really see another way to get in, so. I'm also not thrilled with the loot in here. It seems a little bit meh. Too many toilets. But I am not at the top yet. Uh, here we go. Okay, destroy generator. Okay, I've been in. I think I've been all around it. I'm gonna miss stuff down here, guys. So you know, um, I don't mind you letting me know about it, but don't like try not to get upset. <laughs> I feel so bad when I upset you guys. You know, I don't. I don't need to be causing any more undue stress on people. Uh, how do we go now? All right, so we came in here from right here, right? This is where we came in. Yeah. So how do I go up? Well, let's see if we can find it. Uh, through here? No, I've never been in there. Through here? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I'm definitely missing something because you're not supposed to have to break anything out in these dungeons. Part of the fun of the dungeons is to find the way you're supposed to go without having to break anything out. Oh, here we go. I didn't even see this. Oh, is this the one that falls? Do doesn't one of these fall? I remember somebody said something about one of these or something. I'm not going to trust this. Is that thing moving? Or am I moving? Weird. Oh, crap. Wait, is this the way I gotta go? Can I climb that rope? I don't think I can climb that rope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I thought someone said something about those um those outside like things you gotta walk across and like maybe I'm wrong, but I could have swore they said that it would like collapse or something, but I don't know. Probably not. Oh! The frig! Oh, come on. How'd that miss? Man, you are like some Harry Potter crap right here, man. I can't hit you. It's like some magic. Leviosar! It's not Leviosar. It's Leviosar! There you go. That's what you get. Wake up, chump. Sit down, chump. Get over here, punk. Oh. Whoa. Boom! Oh! Oh, no! It just got real. Oh, I don't need a shotgun. Nope, you're not getting up. Oh, maybe you are getting up. There you go. Anybody else? Anybody else want a piece? God, could you imagine this in um in War of the Walkers? All the all the um all the freaking uh what is it, construction construction fragments you can get off these guys? And in vanilla, they're just kinda like meh. Just meh. Oh, that's not meh. It's better than what I got, boy. Hells yeah. 
All right, let's finish up this room. Uh, can we finish up this room? Oh boy, we got a few things in here. Should not be a problem. What do we got over here? Oh, okay. All right, let's finish up this room. Call it a video. Oh boy, this is this freaking building is taking forever. What is today? I don't even know. When's my next horde? 47, I guess? No, it's 42. It was 42, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's 49. Okay, so we got some time. 49, we got some time. Yeah! Ugh, garbage, stupid waste of time. I love wasting my time. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a chest. I'm going to drop everything off. We are going to call this one here. Don't forget to let me know what you think about the Rolf Copter in the comments. And I will see you next time. Till then, take it. Oh, did I say thank you very much for watching? I didn't. I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. So I'll see you next time, guys. See you later. Wait, till then, take it easy. Well, this is a shithole of a freaking ending. Oh, I just cursed again.